In Washington today, President Biden bestowed the nation's highest honor for public service to several members of the NYPD and the FDNY. CBS News' Jessica Moore is in the newsroom with more on this. Jess? Well, Chris, the president said these six local heroes showed extraordinary valor that went well above and beyond the call of duty to even losing their lives protecting others. To the honorees, I don't uh, know all of you, but I do know you. From small towns and big cities, you're cut from the same cloth. You run into danger when everyone else runs away from danger. Among the nine recipients of the 2021-2022 Medal of Valor fallen NYPD detectives Jason Rivera and Wilbert Mora. To the families and loved ones of detectives Wilbert Mora and Jason Rivera, we know it is impossible to understand the grief you endure or to fully comprehend your loss. On January 21st, 2022, then officers Rivera and Mora were shot and killed responding to a 911 call. Rookie officer Sumit Salon ultimately stopped the violence and threat to other civilians by taking down the gunman. Detective Mora and Rivera are never far from his mind. And the entire nation is grateful for the quick thinking, swift action, and courage under fire that he demonstrated. The president also honored three members of the FDNY, including Lieutenant Justin Hespler, who rescued a baby from a burning home in Brooklyn when he had been told to evacuate. Crawling through the hall until he found a five week old baby unconscious in his crib. Justin shielded the newborn with his body, crawled back through the smoke to the window and down to safety. New York's bravest. Retired Lieutenant Jason Hickey of the FDNY's Marine Training Unit saved a man from drowning in the Harlem River. The man was, as you understand, panicked and struggling and kept disappearing beneath the water. Again and again, Lieutenant Hickey went down after him, fighting the currents and incoming tide, and pulled the man to the boat, saving his life while risking his own. That's bravery. Also honored today, firefighter Patrick Thornton, who dove under a capsized boat to save a man. We'll have more on his story coming up tonight on the news at 5 o'clock. Live in the newsroom, Jessica Moore, CBS 2 News. What an honor. Jessica, thank you.